Good morning once again, and welcome to our morning reflection. And this morning, we reflect on the topic of calling sin as it is. Yesterday, we looked at admitting sin. Today, we continue with calling sin as it is. Our scripture reading will come from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5, picking from verse number 25. 2 Kings 5, from verse number 25. I read. Then he went in and stood before his master, Elisha. Where have you been? Gehaz, Elisha asked. Your servant didn't go anywhere, Gehaz answered. But Elisha said to him, Was not my spirit with you when the man got down from his chariot to meet you? Is this the time to take money or to accept clothes, olive groves, vineyards, Flocks, herds, all men servants and maid servants, Naaman's leprosy will cling to you and your descendants forever. Then Gehaz went from Elisha, Elisha's presence, and he was leprous as white as snow. This is the word of God. Uh, Gehaz, because we will not repeat the story, but I can request you in your own time to read chapter 5 of 2 Kings, and you will find the story in full. Gehaz tried to conceal his sin before Elisha. Remember, Naaman, after he was healed, had gifts he wanted to give to Elisha. But according to Elisha, that was not the season to receive gifts. It was the season to glorify God. And even now, we need that discernment as we interact with the people, and as we go about our businesses, to just reflect and ask, is this the appropriate time for me to glorify God, or is it the appropriate time for me to benefit myself? Elisha opted to glorify God. But Gehaz opted to benefit himself. And therefore, he took the gifts, the very gifts his master had refused to take. People of God, under the service of Elisha, Gehaz, did not lack anything. Elisha provided for his basic needs. However, Gehaz allowed greed to lead him. And you know, when we allow greed to replace contentment, sin crops in. So Gehaz fell into sin. But Elisha called his sin as it was. I wonder how Gehaz was feeling when Elisha said to him, didn't my spirit and my presence accompany you when you went 
to receive the gift from Nama. It was an opportune time at that point for Gehas to seek for forgiveness. Unfortunately, he didn't. And as a result, he inherited the sickness of Nama. Do not conceal sin. Call it as it is. In Eden, Adam and Eve before Gehaz, they also tried to conceal their sin. But God called it as it is. Remember, nowhere did Adam admit that he ate the fruit on his own accord and prayed for grace, mercy, and forgiveness. He passed the bulk to his wife. It's the woman you put here. Remember, Eve was not apologetic. Neither was she repentant. She praised the blame on the serpent. You know, God calls sin as it is. Did you eat the fruit? And even today, God does not mean his words. He will call it for what it is. May grace be sufficient for us to repent. As I conclude, remember Ananiah and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5. They both had an opportunity to repent, but they didn't. Peter called their sin as it was. Is this all you have sold the prod? The more we try to conceal sin, the more it reveals itself. The best way to deal with it is not to hide. And if you want to help your brother or sister who is in sin, Go bear, call it as it is, and call your brother or sister back to repentance. Always remember, sin is an enemy. They are not hide it before God. And this day, may God continue walking with us helping us to discern our sin and to seek for forgiveness, even as we help others to come back to faith. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.